If it wasn't for Keto Omad, I probably would have never have seen Wonderland. If it wasn't for eating one meal a day, I probably would have never have hit losing 100 pounds down on my weight loss journey. One meal a day is very effective for weight loss, and we are gonna use one meal a day properly this time to get me shredded. Hi, my name is Danielle Joy, and apparently I've been doing one meal a day wrong. You'd think you would do it right, considering it's called one meal a day and it would be idiot proof, but you know, stuff happens. If you're new here, welcome. I have lost over 100 pounds on this weight loss journey. I've hit major weight loss milestones thanks to OMAD. I got to Wonderland thanks to OMAD, and I lost 100 pounds thanks to OMAD. And now we're gonna use one meal a day to get me shredded. The weight loss struggle is real, y'all. The weight loss struggle is real. So we are gonna be doing one meal a day, but for real this time. Apparently I misunderstood everything my coach, Cole Robinson, was saying. My weight loss coach. Also my psychologist. <laughs> um, I, I misunderstood it all. Basically, as you guys know, the way I was doing OMAD, and it still works. It still works, not that it doesn't work, and I do like that method. And apparently that method of OMAD that I was talking about is meant for people who are lean and they're getting hungry. Well, I wasn't getting hungry. So the method of OMAD that I was talking about, which Cole says isn't really OMAD, is that you fast for 20, 22 hours a day, then you break your fast with a small snack, and then you wait half an hour at least, and then you consume the rest of your calories. Apparently, waiting half an hour, 15 minutes to half an hour at least, and consuming the rest of your calories meant that you had to consume those calories within the hour. I wasn't doing that because literally I would break my fast and then I wouldn't be hungry for hours afterwards. So I would have a four hour eating window if I fasted for 20 hours. And when I was talking to Cole, he thought that I was having a one hour eating window. So the scale has been doing wild things, even though my calories have been on par for the last week. I was very upset today because the scale went up 2.6 pounds, almost three pounds. Even though I went to the gym today and I took a selfie and I saw some new loose skin, I look leaner, much leaner, leanest I've looked ever in my adult life. So I was really upset when I saw that. We are gonna be doing one meal a day for real this time and it doesn't matter about the calories. The calories are gonna trigger people, <laughs> that's okay. I'm, I'm ready to trigger people. And we're gonna be documenting this daily properly. So, I am going to fast for 23 to 24 hours a day now. I am gonna be eating at six or seven o'clock p.m. every day. Since I'm starting this tomorrow and I had my last meal at 7.15 today, we are gonna be breaking my fast tomorrow at seven o'clock p.m. That's what Cole wants me to do. He even said eight, but I'm like, that's too late. I don't wanna do eight. So we are gonna push our fast as long as possible. And then we are gonna have one meal, literally one meal. I just gotta make sure that meal has tons of protein in it. And that meal could be keto or it could not be keto. Due to my car accident injuries, I'm gonna make sure it is keto because I need an anti-inflammatory diet right now and I just like how keto makes me feel. So we're gonna do it for real, real OMAD. When I am fasting for the 23 hours, I am going to make sure I'm gonna have tons of snake juice. Tons of sodium chloride, tons of potassium chloride, and yes, some cayenne pepper extract in there, and some baking soda I like to put in my hot cup of warm snake juice in the morning. I'm gonna have that throughout the day. I'm gonna make sure I'm active throughout the day because activity crushes your hunger. Whether that be going to the gym, I'd like to return to the pool, it's been a while since I went swimming, and we're gonna do OMAD for real this time. Now, the reason why I'm gonna do this is because Cole says I am not trusting the scale. I am not trusting um, the process because the scale tends to do wild things when you do these other methods like we've been doing before, the snack stacking, the four meal a day ketogenic diet. The scale will swing sometimes and that is stressing me out. 
because I'm in a very stressful situation. So to avoid this stress, my weight loss coach wants me to do one meal a day so I don't have to worry about the wild swings on the scale. When you do one meal a day, the scale won't be so erratic. And I mean proper one meal a day, eating within a 30 minute window. It's not even an hour. He says, Has, however long it takes you to eat that meal, eat it within 30 minutes and you're done. That's it, not an hour, 30 minutes. So we are gonna do this and I am going to document this starting tomorrow. But I will bring out my OMAD Q&A video for you guys as I promised. And I also gotta pop in my snake juice recipe video as promised. Cole says this is probably the last diet protocol he'll have me doing because he says I can eat OMAD forever. He says I can build muscle on OMAD. Obviously not at the calories I'm gonna be eating now because I'm cutting, but I can probably do it forever. I can build muscle on OMAD as well because I wanna be a bodybuilder. And a lot of bodybuilders actually use this routine to build muscle. So there you have it. It was a struggle today. Weight loss is a struggle. Not because of losing weight. Losing weight is simple. It's because of everything going on in life. Because of the other stresses. Like I've got personal stuff going on. I've got injuries I gotta deal with. I'm in chronic pain all the time. I've got stresses going on. So that is what makes weight loss hard. That is what makes weight loss a struggle. It's not losing weight itself. So it's really important for us to go through this process and learn how to handle that part. Learn how to handle life. Learn how to evolve. Learn how to crush those addictions, which I'm working through. Taking that deep inner journey to healing holistically, which isn't easy. The journey to healing sucks, <laughs> but I know at the end of it, I'll be stronger. And I know at the end of it, you'll be stronger. So never ever give up on yourself. If you're struggling on your weight loss journey, keep going. The worst thing you can do is stop. Too many people do not give the weight loss routine enough time to evolve. Too many people don't trust the diet long enough to see results. Don't be one of those people. Don't let the skill dictate your feelings. Don't let it stop you from achieving your goals. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember that the journey is the destination. Meaning that once you get to your goal weight, do you stop everything you did to get to that goal weight? No, you have to continue on with the lifestyle. The lifestyle is the destination. The lifestyle is the goal weight. Remember that if you're rushing to get to your weight. Patience is everything. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this little video. I have no idea where I'll go under, but thank you for being here. I'm sending you guys mad love. <laughs> Take care, bye.